on, people? Your boy, Mad Mike, coming at you guys with yet another Atlanta Falcons video. All right. The question is, what will the Atlanta Falcons do at the quarterback positions going into 2022? Uh, I, I know everybody wants to know. All right. The big question is, what will happen to the Atlanta Falcons quarterback position? Will Matt Ryan be back? Will they draft a young quarterback to come in to learn from them? Will they draft a quarterback to take over? Um, we don't know at this point, and I'm just going to be honest. I don't think so. The Falcons are about $13 million in the cap uh, as of right now without any um, deals or potential moves that could happen. Um, $13 million. All right, the Falcons are... They definitely have some, you know, some dis <laughs> things to discuss. They have the things to think about. And quite frankly, the question is whether or not Matt Ryan should get a contract extension. I'm just going to be honest. The cap hit for Matt Ryan is $48 million. And quite frankly, I don't think you want that cap number that high. That's just my personal opinion. Um, we will see. But I don't think you want that cap number that high you would have to try to renegotiate to try to get a little bit more cap relief so a contract extension is imminent in my i think it's something that's coming um and you just falcons fans all along i think this is probably the last contract for matt ryan um this is going to seal the deal in my opinion for his career um three four years expect that length um to pretty much see where these guys are going at this point um what the direction of this franchise will be this season will determine all of that the contract extension if the falcons are perhaps again four five years contract matt ryan is they're looking for matt ryan to con uh, retire as an atlanta falcon that's just my humble opinion um josh rosen he did not have a very good <laughs> season with the Atlanta Falcons. Um, the time that he came in, uh, he played pretty bad, all right? Played god-awful. Just going to be honest, he played bad through interceptions. Uh, one of the first picks that he got in the game, um, yeah, he threw an interception. Felipe Franks. So I, I don't, uh, excuse me, uh, Josh Rosen, I do not expect him to be back. He'll hit the free agent market. Uh, Felipe Franks is a guy that I think the Falcons would, in my opinion, look deeply into or deeper into, you know, trying to develop him as a quarterback. He's a young guy. He definitely has the tools. Um, he doesn't have the experience. And, you know, at this point, I don't think you risk the fact that you know having a uh, a young quarterback uh you draft a young quarterback to sit behind Matt Ryan I still think you have a veteran guy and a quarterback that may not be a veteran but he knows the offense um here um with um the Atlanta Falcons um I could quite possibly see him you know going in the offseason work you know, work his magic, see what you can do with him, or quite possibly I can also see the Atlanta Falcons moving on from him. Um, being that he's still a young guy, there's not a lot of upside, but, you know, uh, you may want to keep him around just for, you know, familiarity as far as the system is concerned. So, um, again, Matt Ryan, I fully expect Matt Ryan to sign the contract extension. Josh Rosen to be going Felipe Franks um, to stay because the Falcons are going to need guys who understand the system and help the new quarterback. They're going to bring quarterbacks to possibly compete for the second, third string. All right. So that's going to be a given. You could quite possibly see the Atlanta Falcons also go out and sign a veteran quarterback you know you just never know a Marcus Mariota who already understands his offense you could possibly see him if he for whatever is re released or he's a free agent you can quite possibly see that um but Falcons are going to bring in a quarterback to you know that's that's going to understand what Arthur uh is um don't expect them guys to draft the quarterback uh in the fourth or the first 
four rounds. Um, I don't expect that to happen. And quite frankly, I just don't expect them guys to draft a quarterback um, at all. I think this is, you know, at this point, you got to go with Matt Ryan just for, you know, the sake of uh, salary cap issues. But at the end of the day, even that is, you know, just me uh, in my personal opinion, the Falcons could quite possibly be thinking something completely different. At this point in time, we don't know. But let me know what you guys think about this. This has been your boy, Matt Mike, um, here at Atlanta Falcons Nation. Matt Mike Sports, I'm out of here, baby. Peace. Mm-hmm.